my name is Edelise Baez and I'm a sales engineer at Progress Software. And this is my third video in the MongoDB tutorial video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and configure the MongoDB JDBC DataDirect connectivity solution. In the center of my screen, I am at the Progress landing page, which is at www.progress.com. To get to the Data Direct Connectors, I'm going to click on Products and Solutions and select Data Direct Connectors. I am then taken to the landing page that lists all of the Data Direct Connectivity Solutions. On the left hand side, I'm going to click on MongoDB. I now have the choice to select ODBC or JDBC. I'm going to select JDBC. Then I can select Try Now. I am taken to a short form that I'm going to fill out in order to start my 15 day evaluation. Once I accept the terms of the EULA and click submit, I have download instructions for the MongoDB JDBC driver. On this page, I can either choose a Windows operating system or a Unix Linux operating system. I'm going to select a Windows operating system. I'm going to save this file. While this is downloading, I would like to note on the top of this page, there are steps for the JDBC installation guide, as well as a quick start guide. Once this has finished downloading, I'm going to extract this file into a temporary folder. After extracting, I can run the installer. I will right click and run it as an administrator. I will click yes. Now I can click next and accept the terms of the license agreement and select next. I can now choose the location of where I want to install the JDBC driver. I will keep it as the default. I'm going to keep the selection at evaluation installation and select next. I can now click install. Once the installation is complete, I can click done. I can now go to the installation folder, which is in program files, progress, data direct, and JDBC 8.0. And I can use the test for JDBC tool. I will double click it. I can then press the continue button and select connection connect to DB. There are a listing of connection strings to the various JDBC data direct sources. I'm going to scroll down until I see MongoDB and I can edit this connection string to connect to the MongoDB instance that I had set up in the previous video. The host name is IE10 win 8 and the port is the default port 27017. This schema definition is going to be the path to where I want to save my schema. I'm going to place it in the users documents location and I'm going to name the schema schema 2. Now I can enter the MongoDB username and password and hit connect. You can see in the window on the left hand side that the connection has established. So this shows you that I have utilized the DataDirect MongoDB JDBC driver to connect to my MongoDB instance. I can now create statements and execute these queries. For more information, please visit the Progress DataDirect website. Once again, my name is Edelise Baez. Thank you for watching.